Hey guys, it's Nina P. Sorry, I was just eating string cheese. Um, and maybe I should mute my TV. Um, so I missed my video last week, so I figured this week I would do two. So I just went food shopping, and I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I got. Um, first, I'm going to show you some of the things that I use as like mini recipes, if you will. This is my favorite thing, and it's so easy. So I take like a pound of grilled chicken um, and a jar of salsa. Most salsa is fat free. This has 10 calories for two tablespoons, two carbs, and a sugar. Um, I couldn't really find that many. It's 8.20 at night here, so the supermarket was kind of like not stocked. So. I got this, um, I shop at the AMP. So I'll let you know how that is. That's the first time I'm trying this salsa. And then, so I put these two in the crock pot for about six hours on low. And it's like a shredded salsa chicken, it's super good. And then I take the Laughing Cow, the Queso Fresco Chipotle. These have 35 calories, two grams of fat, one carb, one sugar, on two proteins and I kind of mix this in there with it it's delicious it's really good if you like Mexican kind of stuff I recommend that because it definitely fulfills um, that kind of craving so the next thing I got is I buy this Jenny O extra lean ground turkey it's 99% lean um, for four ounces, there's 120 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, no carbs, and 26 grams of protein. So I have this awesome turkey meatball recipe um, on my Pinterest. I'll put my Pinterest name below so you can follow my boards because I'm, I love to cook and I'm constantly on there looking for recipes. And this turkey meatball recipe is awesome. Even with the 99% lean, which can sometimes be like throwing a baseball at someone's fucking head, like it's delicious. Um, and then what I do is I take Frank's Red Hot and these are the blue cheese laughing cow, which has the same stats, but it has three grams of protein. I think the other one has two. Um, so it's kind of like a buffalo blue cheese turkey meatball. It's awesome. Um, so that's pretty much what I'll eat for, for lunch and dinner. I did buy some zucchini and I'm going to try and make, uh, I saw a recipe on Pinterest for like a zucchini, zucchini pizza crust and I thought, oh I did. These are, um, al fresco chicken sausage these are the roasted pe pepper and asiago um so one link has 140 calories eight grams of fat one carb and 15 proteins so i was gonna put this with some red sauce on the zucchini uh crust if it actually tastes good i mean who knows i like to keep chicken sausage in the freezer just because like it's easy to defrost real quick if i'm hungry and i don't have anything else in the house um, I'm a super big fan of easy things, so I usually get like green beans you can put in the microwave and these are mixed veggies. And then, here's what I do on YouTube. I find someone and I start binge watching <laughs> all of their videos. So I've been watching Lauren Losing. She's a VSG patient and she has really great recommendations in terms of products and, um, weight loss surgery, you know, good foods for weight loss surgery patients. So she loves this Opa Greek yogurt feta dill dressing. So I figured I would try it. It's only 50 calories per serving, four and a half grams of fat and two proteins. And I figured I could put that on my veggies because I've been eating my veggies plain because I'm too lazy to figure anything out. So that was a good recommendation. Hopefully it tastes good. I'm sure it does. And then for breakfast every day, this is my favorite. I use liquid eggs, better, better in eggs, um, for three tablespoons. I think I use like a half a cup. 
So for three tablespoons of this, sorry, my phone is ringing. No, I don't know who that is. Um, there's 25 calories and five grams of protein. It's just way better than eating a real egg. Um, and very filling. And I eat one of these Jimmy Bean, um, these are fully cooked tur turkey sausage patties. So I usually just throw this on the pan real quick, brown it up. It's for two patties and I only can eat one. So it's 100 calories, seven grams of fat, one carb, one sugar, and 11 grams of protein. Pretty good. Um, what else did I get? Snacks, I have a big issue with snacks. So I've been, and this is what I was just eating, is um, the Weight Watchers Jalapenos Trim Cheese. They're 50 calories, a stick, two and a half grams of fat, and six grams of protein. I like the jalapeno flavor because I feel like the regular Weight Watchers ones just taste like shitty. They don't taste that great. Um, so that's been good for a snack. The other thing is, I did, I have been watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and Banded Wendy put up a video of um, a Jello slash Greek yogurt dessert, which I made when I was in Florida and it was fucking awesome. And you slice some bananas on there. It was, f first of all, it was filling for very minimal portion and it was delicious. So I got some Greek yogurt. I didn't get a banana. I'll have to stop and do that tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to make that for a snack because the yogurt just, it by itself doesn't fill me up. The last thing I got, I've been dying for pasta and I've had this before. It is Nasoya Pasta Zero. Um, so it's basically just like flour, chickpea flour, cornstarch, um, but it only has, for two thirds of a cup, it only has 15 calories, four carbs, three are from fiber, which is great, and one protein. So I've just been craving pasta and I haven't, I maybe had a bite so far and it didn't bother me, but still, I don't wanna go down that road. Last but not least, I like to have quick things in the freezer because if I'm working late, I just want to be able to pop things in the freezer. Sorry, I feel like there's a mosquito on my ankle right now. Um, I used to be a vegetarian, so I love Morningstar. And if you're not a vegetarian and you're scared of trying vegetarian things, I promise you will love these. These are the spicy black bean burgers. And they're 110 calories, four grams of fat, they do have a high, there's 13 carbs, four of them are from fiber, one from sugar, and then they have 10 grams of protein in them. So they're high in protein, even though they're veggie. Um, I really enjoy those as something quick to just pop in the toaster oven when I'm starving and I don't have time to make anything. So um, hope you found that interesting. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to put my Pinterest handle below. Feel free to follow my, my boards on there. And um, I'm going to follow up with my weekly update. Bye.